Hello there friends and welcome to another beautiful day here in the town of Lorien in Animal Crossing New Leaf. We have a public works project in the works that we need to work on today and a few other fun things. And part of what we need to do is to raise some money to pay this thing off so we can get our police station because that's going to be super fun to have here in town. We'll get a lost and found, which we haven't had yet. So that will be something to look forward to. Good motivation for us to make some bells. Let's go. Okay, well... We, we know that first order of business, getting bells, is finding our money rack for the day, right? <laughs> I've already gone around today and watered the withered flowers and dug up all our fossils. Those are in my pocket. We'll come grab these pears later. And actually, I think we might, if we have time, plant a few more orchard trees over here behind... Reese's. Oh, and look, we found one more fossil. So I thought I had them all, but I was wrong. And I don't think I watered this flower either. I had to move some new pansies over here yesterday because a few of them had disappeared from this spot. So somewhere around here, I also saw Sahara running around. We're gonna get rid of that dandelion. Oh, there we go. That's, that's our gem for the day. Uh, so we got to be on the lookout <laughs> for her too. I'm always accidentally sitting on these rocks. Ooh, we have some perfect oranges here that are ready also. So we'll grab those at some point. I want to probably make our run up to Main Street before we try to fill our pockets anymore. Let's see. Today from 4 p.m. all items in the store will be unbelievably half price. Come on down right away. Wait, after what time? From 4 p.m.? What time is it? It's 4.32, so everything's half price right now. Sweet. We'll definitely be checking that out when we head up to Main Street. Still got on my cute little red and yellow outfit. I just, I wasn't ready to change yet. <laughs> I think it's looking so cute. We got our little star hairpin. Adorable. Okay, I thought Sahara was over here last time I saw her, but she's a wanderer, so she's somewhere around here. We gotta check in with our villagers too, and I still can't get Deirdre to go home so we can see what's happening in her house. <laughs> hmm, we made a lot, huh? I'll probably never be able to forget your face now. So what's up? That's the second time she said that to us. There's nothing big coming up this week, but that's not too bad. I always go full throttle for every single festival, but even I can't keep up that pace forever. Since we have some downtime, I'm gonna save up my strength for the next big event. That's a good idea, Deirdre. Ooh, speaking of events, uh, we need to be paying attention. It's not really an event, but <laughs> the month did change. And since, you know, this is our first year in the game, we do need to be paying attention to some bugs and things that pop up. So we might need to be doing some fishing at some point, some diving at some point. What's going on, Lyman? Hey, uh, hey, Marilee. <laughs> Gotta love this weather. Perfect training conditions, Brzezinski. What you need? You've been the subject of some gossip lately. Rumor has it you're a green thumb. So, uh, is it true? I'm not so sure. <laughs> we haven't been doing great with our flowers. Seems like rumors are just rumors, Brzezinski. I love that he calls us Brzezinski. That's too funny. Alright, I just saw Quilson around here. I kind of want him to be home too, because I want to see what the inside of his house looks like. Hey, I've been hoping to see you, Marilee. So, something up? What's the latest? I like the way my room looks for the most part, except the furniture just doesn't pop for me. Can you help me out? I'm desperate for furniture. I'd like you to bring me a piece of furniture that fits my needs. I'll leave the choice up to you. Yeah, I'm sure we'll find you something. Okay, let's see. We have a rock down here. Here's one. We we'll probably try, need to try not to spend too much of our money if we do find anything at Nooks. At least it's all half price. Have we caught one of these butterflies yet? I don't think so. And we are going to see Blathers. Let's see. Oh, no, maybe we have. I guess we might have actually already um, got some of the bugs and stuff. Wait a minute. Where did our shovel go? There it was. <laughs> um... 
from visits to Cap'n's Island. Tortimer's Island? I guess it's Tortimer's Island in this version. The Cap'n takes you there. Okay, we have some peaches down here too that are not native to here. But I don't know if they'll fall good <laughs> the way we have the path around them, so we'll have to pay attention to that. Alright, where's our mini rock? It's like always the last one you check, isn't it? Ooh, 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 ooh. Bug. We can sneak in this game. Gotcha. A stink bug. Yep, that stinks alright. Okay, so that's a new one for us. We'll give that one to Blathers when we go up. Nice. Uh, we haven't checked this rock yet. It's got to be this one, right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't think there's too many more left after this one. Okay, so we've got some money in our pockets, some bells. Oh, and there's a little fishy in the pond. <laughs> We're kicking up our path. I think that's the first time I've noticed a fish in the pond, but I could be wrong. I mean, also, just because it's the first time I've noticed it doesn't mean they haven't been there. <laughs> all right, this is going to take a minute to pick all this up because our pockets are so full. Actually, we can sell a couple things to Reese really quick. Oh, I see Allie in here. We want to sell. We got a balloon wall and this amethyst and we'll sell this tiger butterfly since we already had that. So another 2600 bells. That's pretty good. We've got 40,000 in our pocket which is not too bad. Oh, somebody's selling some a blue lamp there. Allie, what are you doing? You know that old saying, you get what you pay for? Well, it's not always true in this shop. That's because anyone can list an item for sale and they can choose whatever price they want. You can find some good bargains, but remember that other old saying, buyer beware. So true. <laughs> There's Punchy too. What? Just out of curiosity, what's the uh, rainbow trout? What's up, Punchy? Hey, so how light do you keep your room when you're sleeping, Merrily? Uh, we keep it. We keep it a little bit light. I mean, it's, it's not pitch black by any means. Then you must love napping right before the sun goes down, right? Napping before dinner is the best. Yawn. Even imagining it is so delicious. <laughs> okay. I've never heard a nap described as delicious, but all right then. We'll take your word for it, Punchy. Let's get the rest of these bells into our pocket. And get these fossils up to Main Street. And hopefully most of them will be ones we already have. And we can sell them for bells. Wait, do we have that bug? Let's find our net again. A common butterfly. Oh, yep, we've already got that one. <laughs> well, just because we've caught it doesn't necessarily mean we have given one to Blathers yet. Oh, Cole's here visiting. Oh, and I meant to bring a piece of fruit up here for Dr. Shrunk, too. Alright, five fossils to assess. More than one I see. Let's take a closer look. Oh, already have all of these. Alright. So no fossils to donate today, which means we get the bells for all of those. Nice. I think we got gypped a little bit <laughs> the other day. Wait, was that in this game? Maybe not. Never mind. <laughs> A stink bug! This stink bug here reminds me vaguely of when I was but a chick in my mother's nest. Oh, I'm so sorry. Alright, they're gonna take good care of him. That's all today, Blathers. Do 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 do. Let's go see what's half price at Nooks. Or the TIY, I guess. 
We have a time special going on. Make it easier to get your hands on things. Making it easier. Um, okay, so, but you don't have any anything that good, really. <laughs> but have we gotten a ranch cupboard yet? We'll take that. Just in case we haven't cataloged it, and we'll take this baby bear, too. Okay, and I think we have some play coins, so why don't we get us a fortune cookie. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name of it until it popped up on the screen. We'll take one. We have 11 coins, so we can we can definitely afford it. If you bring us the lucky ticket, we'll exchange it for a prize. Okay, let's see what is inside our cookie today. There was a fortune inside. In both life and love, there is always another castle. Hmm. Let's find out what we get for that. <laughs> I got a lucky ticket right here. Number 12. Congratulations. The prize for number 12 is a toad hat. What? <laughs> hey, that's going to match us. Look, we've got a red polka dot skirt on. Okay, we got to put this on like immediately. Okay. <laughs> that is too hilarious. All right. Well, maybe it doesn't match as well as I thought. It is red and white, but for some reason I was imagining it red with white spots. <laughs> but we'll keep it on for a while just because it's fun. We get to be a little mushroom for the rest of the day. <laughs> okay. Anything fun here? Why? Mabel. Why do we have long sleeves in here? It's springtime. It's going into summer. We need some cute short sleeves. And what do we have here? Is this a, an astronaut helmet and a clown nose? Um, no, no, no. I think we're gonna just stick with what we're wearing. Should we check in with Kix today? We don't usually check in with Kix. But I wouldn't mind having... Some more leggings and tights now that we have more storage room. Gray leggings. We will take those because I think the only leggings we have right now are black and those are the ones we're wearing right now. I don't think we need any of these shoes. I'm pretty sure we already have those little yellow ones. Oh, we should have those on right now. But these little flower loafers look cute so we're going to keep those. Hey, I wonder if you can feed these birds. Let's test it. We have our little <laughs> bird box here. I'm going to call it a bird box because that's the only thing we use it for. Well, <laughs> he's not coming any closer for it, but we'll pretend that we fed him. <laughs> okay, that's fun. And, all right, so we're, we're going to put that back away just so we have that pocket space free and we're gonna put our little flower wand in our hand because that's more fun to carry around than anything else <laughs> and if we remember oh pietro hi Mary Lee, how are you doing i came to hang out in lorian today yeah we saw cole too hey there Mary Lee. i'm in lorian today to do some shopping since you look like you're up to the same thing remember not to spend all your money in one place we didn't we're about to go get some more money. We gotta sell these dinosaur bones to Reese. I hope we didn't mess up by getting that rock right behind the police station. Actually, now I think about it, it's probably gonna block a couple of spots if that's ever the money rock. Oh well. Can't change it now. Can't move the police station. I wonder if we can cancel it before it's paid off. I don't think we want to though. Uh, we want, we do want to sell though. We're going to sell this butterfly also. And what else was this? Yeah, the baby bear and the ranch wardrobe. We'll go ahead and sell those too. 25,000 bells. Those must have been some good fossils. Nice. Okay, so 71,000. We'll probably do something similar to what we did when we were paying off the roost which is we'll pay half 
half of whatever we end up with for the day to our public works project and the other half to our bank account for paying off more of our house. But right now, I want to see if we can find Sahara really quick because we don't want to miss her. She's around town somewhere. We've kind of been around and I didn't run into her again, did, did I? Do, do, where are you, Sahara? Hey, there's Tangy. Hey, we haven't talked in a while, Marilee. Awesome to see you. What's going on? I'm bored. Boo! There's nothing exciting going on right now. How in the world am I supposed to have fun? <laughs> Let me know if you get any brilliant ideas, Marilee. We could try to have some fun together. Yeah, I don't have any right now. I'm gonna check my mail. Is that fun? Ooh, I think we just scared away a praying mantis, and I don't think we've caught one of those yet, so we need to be on the lookout for one of those. What else do we have in the mail here? From Bob. Visiting your house today was pretty fun. I want to come back sometime. And next time, will you let me see all the rooms? I don't care how messy they are. So Bob came over to our house, and I was trying to show him the back room, but I guess it was so cluttered that <laughs> even though there were four spaces available, like, he couldn't come in when I went in there. So I felt a little bad about that. But there was nothing I could do because I couldn't pick anything up while he was there. Dear Mary Lee, if you think about it, letters have the power to stop time. They capture one moment in ink for eternity. I love that. And it means you can never age in letters either. From Romantic Alley. Oh, that's a nice thought, Alley. All right, what else? Oh, something from our mom. I've been staring up at the white fluffy clouds against the blue sky. Made me really want some ice cream. Like, real bad. Mom. <laughs> well, I hope our mom got some ice cream. Let's see what she sent to us. It is a soft serve lamp. Fun. Unfortunately, we don't have anywhere to put it right now. And Bob sent us a country guitar. Okay, also fun. Let's see what that last letter was. Check it out. It's from Deirdre. Your letter lifted my spirits. I'm ready for anything now. Back when I was a really wild child, I never bothered with writing people letters. That's it from me for now. Later, Deirdre. Okay, well that was a nice letter from Deirdre too. Um, didn't we send her, we sent her a dress, didn't we? And she's not wearing it today because I think I saw Tangy give her this outfit earlier. It's the same one Tangy's got on. So that's what she's wearing right now. Now where in the world did Sahara go though? Because we really want to catch her if we can. There she is. And there's a weed. <laughs> I am called Sahara, for that is my name. I come from faraway land. I have many wallpapers for the papering of walls. Many carpets for the petting of cars. What? <laughs> okay. For 3,000 bells. Deal? Deal. Ah, it is nice. Let us travel to your palace swiftly. All right, we'll go. And she will follow us. And then once we finish that, we'll be able to run up and see Dr. Shrunk. And then we might do a quick fruit gather to see if we can get a little more bells before we split them up for today. All right, here's our house, Sahara. It's a little bit of a mess still. <laughs> we probably need to clean it up a little bit now that we have some more storage. Ah, this is your palace, yes? Oh, I see the harmony of this room. I have just the thing. Yes, yes. Now I will accept the payment of the money for 3,000 bells. Thank you. Now my work begins. You will wait outside. Yes, just a bit, please. Thank you, yes. All right. Now there's going to be some rumbling and bumbling. <laughs> It is done. Done like the past. Tomorrow is here. The future needs not this, so you must take it. Okay, so we get our old wallpaper and floor back. Your palace is renewed, Queen Marilee. Rule it now. Okay, we certainly will. In our little toad hat. <laughs> 
Okay, so what have we got? Um, yeah, not really a fan of that wall, to be honest. Is that a Sahara wall? I didn't think that was. All right, we're definitely going to be putting back what was here. Okay, but I guess we want to keep what she gave us because is it always uh, Sahara exclusives that she gives us? Because I thought you could buy that beaded wall like at Nooks, but maybe not in New Leaf? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm really eager to try out this little decorating thing too, but we will have to do that another day. We got enough to do today. All right, see ya, Sahara. We're on our way back up to Main Street to get some new emotion. <laughs> if we can. If we can. I don't really know the exact hours that Dr. Shrunk is hanging around in here for that purpose, but we can go in, and it's too early for music, so. Oh, we're not open for the day yet. Is there something you needed? I brought a snack. Oh, really? That makes me so happy. What did you bring me? We brought you a pear today. Oh, what do we have here? A pear? Don't mind if I do. Whew, that was quite satisfying. Well, thanks a bunch. I should probably re return the favor now, shouldn't I? Then how about I tell you a really good joke today? All right, I have to get ready first, so you just wait right here a sec. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My sleepy joke is just the thing to cure what ails you. Have you heard? Yawns are contagious. There was one day years ago when I was performing in front of a totally packed audience. Well, uh, packed might be a tiny exaggeration. I was performing in front of a good number of people, so I thought I'd share a special joke I'd been saving. Just then, some big guy sitting smack dab in the middle of the audience let out a huge yawn. Then it started to spread. From row to row, the yawn caught on. Oh. Huh? What? Which joke was I doing again? <laughs> Alright, we missed something because we were too slow, but... I think what he said was it spread up to him. <laughs> I think this is the first time you've seen my sleepy joke. Alright, now we can be sleepy. Let's see what that looks like. Oh wait, we don't have to push that. We have to push this. So sleepy. <laughs> okay. We should probably use our little emotions more. We've got some cute ones. <laughs> okay, was there anything else we needed to do on Main Street while we were up here? What else is in our pockets? Let's just double check. Let's see. We got some new clothes. We got some gifts. Our star hairpin. Nope, I think that was all we needed up here. I mean, we will have to run up one more time once we get done gathering up the fruit and getting our bells for the day. We'll see how much we can end up paying on all of our stuff. Oh my goodness. Okay, I just want to pick up this orange. <laughs> you have to be pretty precise with that, I guess. Oh no! Well, that one's done. That's okay. I think we were going to actually take those away anyway because we decided we were going to change the paths up around here. So the storage, the extra storage that's in your house, can you access it from in here? Or is this only the regular storage? Let's look. I guess that's just the regular storage. Okay, and we definitely don't have any room in that. I'm going to have to do some transferring for sure so that we have some space available to just throw stuff in storage if we need to. Oh, what in the world was that? Deirdre's getting a, a cold chill over there. Okay, we're actually going to... Wait, why is that one not going? Oh, rotten orange. Is that because the tree died when we took it off? Weird. Oh, wait, we already have a, an ax in our pocket. We gotta take down, oh, we should probably shake it first in case there's some bees in it. Okay, no bees, we're safe. Uh, get that ax and chop this one down because it's like right in front of our poor little police station. 
and that's not gonna work. So let's dig up this stump. And there. Now we have a nice a nice clear area in front of the station there. And we'll we'll think about what kind of decoration we want to put around the station too. Probably won't get to planting any more orchard trees today, but let's go over near our house and harvest those apples and cherries that are over there if we can get those. Oh, and these peaches over here. And just for the moment, I'm gonna drop this stuff on the ground so that we have the pocket space, but I'll come back later and clean it up. <laughs> I promise. All right, let's get these. Oh, you know what? We could put our little flower wand in our hand just for that one extra pocket space. Okay, so we did lose one peach there. I don't think it went back here, no. Too much path around. Um, <laughs> and I'm gonna keep doing that apparently. So we, we need to be more careful where we're planting our fruit trees from now on because I keep putting them in not very good spots for actually getting all the fruit. Okay, where, let's see, here we go. Oh, what is it, Lyman? Mary Lee, talk to me, baby. <laughs> I know this is kind of sudden, but be brutally honest. What do you think of my catchphrase? I'm thinking Brozinski has run its course, so help me think of a new one. But I like you saying Brozinski. Huh? Really? You're okay with the status quo? Sometimes it's good to leave things alone, but someday change will be in the wind, Brozinski. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe, Lyman, maybe the people watching this video will put some suggestions in the comments for a catchphrase we can give you next time. But I am fresh out of ideas at the moment. <laughs> so, we will have to leave it to them. What are we supposed to do with a rotten orange? I'm going to drop that on the ground, too. Okay, let's get the rest of these apples. One, two, and three. And are we going to get any of these cherries? We should get some of them at least. A couple. Oh, except I keep forgetting to stack. We have pocket space, but not that much pocket space. Okay, here we go. Cherries. And <laughs> we should be able to collect the rest of these cherries. Without <laughs> kicking up any path. No. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay. And the rest of our orchard that we collected the other day still hasn't come back yet. So we won't be able to collect from those trees. And uh, same goes for the banana trees that are on the beach. That's why we're over here getting these apples and cherries and peaches and things that are kind of spread out a little more but this will be our last little collection for the day and then we'll go make our payments and I'll try to get a few more fruit trees planted behind Reese's there or maybe we'll do that next time I don't know it depends on what we think we have time for we didn't stack our cherries all right, another 12,000 bells. Good deal. So 80,000 bells is what we ended up with. Which is, you know, uh, divided in half. That's 40,000 for each of our projects here. <laughs> uh, not too bad. Okay, so our villagers have even paid a little over 800 bells, which is nice. We're going to do 40,000 for that and go put 40,000 in the bank and that'll leave us a little over a thousand in our pockets so we won't be totally empty we'll just have to find that money rock again before we make any more purchases next time Pally, hello don't be jealous of our awesome cool <laughs> toad hat um, we might have to... Oh, we should go talk to Sable while we're up here again, too. And see if... I don't know what we have to do to get another mannequin, but it would be super cool if she gave us another one. So let's just go talk to her. 
I mean, if you guys know, you can let me know. Do we have to spend a certain amount in Ables or visit a certain number of times? Or do we just have to be adorable? <laughs> Hopefully it's the third one. Oh, Merrily, welcome. If you would like to use the sewing machine, just let me know. Okay, we're good for now. Gotta keep at my machine. Yep, you go, girl. We'll be back. Well, we might have to start buying some stuff in there just so that uh, we can work toward getting another mannequin because that's probably what it is. Alrighty, well, we'll end the episode right here where we started with one less cedar tree in our way. <laughs> and look, the sun is starting to set. What a beautiful sky to end on. Perfect. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And thank you to our channel members for supporting this channel. And if you're a fan of red polka dots today, go ahead and click the like button for me on your way out. And if you're enjoying this nostalgic Animal Crossing series, why not subscribe as well? We'd love to have you here for the next one. I'll see you there, friends. Have a beautiful day.